Hello all and welcome to Wow Crochet yet again for another tutorial. My name is Mary and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to do the final two rows to the honey cow. Yay! <laughs> well actually it's not really to the honey cow, it's the actual practice of the final, the border row to the honey cow. I know right, it's called a border row but there's actually two rows involved which is one row of single crochet and then of course you have your little kind of a shell pattern, shell corner to corner kind of pattern, <laughs> flat row corner to corner, that doesn't make sense. Anyway, you will see how it makes sense once we're doing it, how gorgeous does it look. I love when we do the contrast colours in between on a border, I'm thinking of using this as my little coaster for my coffee cup, I do use a lot of these for my coffee cups and this is going to be my favourite one for a little while. <laughs> until we finish the honey cow. Um, so I'm very, very glad we are at the um, end of the practice stitches. That means this time next week, we're going to start the honey cow. Yay! <laughs> but today we are going to do this gorgeous little shell border. The square itself was only used, um, was only made so that I can actually put a border on it. So do yourself a favour and make a square of one, two, three, four rows of a uh, granny square. If you're not sure how to make a granny square, I will leave the link to a granny square that I've made before in the past in a description box down below. So head off on your own and make yourself the granny square first, then come back to us and do this, these last two rows of the border. All right, so what you will need for this piece is um, your two yarns, your contrast yarn and your normal yarn. You will need your crochet hook, whatever the yarn calls for, your scissors, your darning needle, let's not talk anymore, let's just do the honey cow practice border rows. Alrighty, we are going to start off with doing a row of single crochets, oh I just wasn't ready for the thread, I'm sorry guys, okay and we're going to start in, hmm, let's start from that, I'll get a nice close up so you can see what I'm doing. <laughs> just from there okay nowhere particular I just wanted to start from somewhere okay again this is just a, a real quick pattern for the honey cow border okay so this is just going to chain one you're going to single crochet in the same space and you can crochet over that tail if you like I'm not going to bother again it's just a practice stitch single crochet in the next single in the next, whoa, 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 don't lose a stitch like I just did, I'm <laughs> doing well already, so single in the next, single in the next, and so on, and so forth, and so on, so we're just going to get all the way across to the corner, so I can show you what you do next, and then you can continue the round on your own. Now you need to get into that very last stitch. So each one of those stitches until you get to the end, then you are putting three single crochets in that corner. Two and three. All right, so we are going to go, see those three double crochets there? That, that space belongs to that one, that belongs to that, and that belongs to that. So you're going to put a single crochet in there. All right. Then one in the next, and then one in the next, and so on and so forth. So what I would like for you to do, so you don't have to watch me do the whole thing, do a single crochet all the way around until you get to that corner and meet me up. And when you get to the corners, remember we are putting three, oh, let's get a nice close up for you. We are putting three single crochets in that space and then a single crochet in each space and then three in there, single crochet in each space. Get to there and I shall meet you up. All right, so here we are at the end of the row. Okay, we have got the last single crochet in there. So let's get a nice little close up here. All right, now we're going to put three single crochets in here one, two, three. So you still have those one, two, and that stitch belongs to that one so you've got two stitches left so you do single crochet in the first one single crochet in your next one and then with this one here we are just slip stitching 
across. So really you could have started anywhere because, there you go, you slip stitch, because we are going to cast off. And there you go. Now, the best part about the next row is it is a forgiving pattern. And I like to do a lot of the forgiving patterns when it comes to uh, introducing new items to people and the reason is that way if you make a mistake it's not too noticeable so we're going to change our thread back to our blue and there you go okay pass your little blue over all right just to lock it into place now all you're going to do is chain up three one I'm sorry <laughs> yeah sorry three two and three you are going to put um, two double crochets in the same space okay only two pop that thread back you're going to skip one two and do a single crochet in your next stitch in that third one chain up two one and two you are going to put two double crochets in the same space it's a very basic stitch guys you're going to love it skip one two and pop a single crochet in your third one chaining up two one two doing two double crochets in the same space pretty easy i know right i know so we are going to skip one two do a single crochet in that third stitch and then one and two and two double crochets one and two okay skip one two pop yourself into the third stitch now that third stitch lands just before the corner if it lands in the corner just pull one forward and do one outside the corner it's no big deal again forgiving one two do three double crochets now you are going to pop one in the corner so it's going to kind of look a little bulky now so no skipping just a single crochet in the corner chain up two one and two and two double crochets and the same here you are going to put the very next stitch you're going to do a single crochet chain up one and two you're going to do your two double crochets one and two just bring that thread red thread down now you're going to skip one two and pop a single crochet in that third stitch one and two and then two double crochets in the same stitch bit tight this stitch because it's the one with the thread I don't know if you've got the same one you may not I just started anywhere I don't have a particular position that I like to start in skip one and two pop it in your third one one two two double crochets one and two let's have a quick look at how we're going see that corner right there You've got your little whoops i'm sorry i'm gonna bring that out you've got your little wave effect there and in the corner you've got like a squished wave effect very nice yeah very nice reminds me of my honey okay when she was with us she looked gorgeous 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 and so will this border one two and three single crochet in the next one two two double crochets very very basic stitch i cannot wait to start the actual honey cow now i've got all excited with this final part to the to the uh, cow one two and single crochet in there one two two double crochets so now ordinarily with a corner to corner stitch it's you're chaining up three and you're doing three double crochets well with this one you're not chaining up two and you're doing two double crochets so one two and we're going to pop into that stitch right before the corner doesn't matter if it's a bit tight there it's okay one two 
two double crochets so i might have skipped a, ch a single crochet in this row but it doesn't matter two and then we pop another one that's right because we're in the corner now we pop one in the corner stitch single crochet right there chain one and two two double crochets one and two let's get a nice little close-up so you can see what it looks like so you've gone into that one you've gone into that one now you're going to go directly into the next one because it's still the corner single crochet one two and two double crochets one and two skip one two pop your um next single crochet in the next one two and two double crochets so what i would like for you to do is to I'll stop there so you can have a look is to gorgeous 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 continue the round until you get to there and meet me up here we are at the end of the row now i've messed up a little bit along the row there somewhere and i'm going to show you later and you probably won't even be able to tell and that's why i say it is a forgiving pattern so now we've got that little space there between your last cluster set and this cluster set that you've done you're just going to slip stitch right in the bottom of that single crochet that you first did if you can get your hook into a nice tight stitch like mine was pull up a loop give it a cut and as i say in australia and I'm not sure if they say it overseas as well. Bob's your uncle. <laughs> All right. So let's have a look at what we've got here. All right. Oh, this is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I love, love, love. Okay. So here, this one here was okay. When I got to here, I'll show you a nice close up. All right. The first row was gorgeous. All right. Then when I got to here, I noticed there was extra spaces in there. So I left one and just dropped it all the way over here just so that I can get my three in the corner. And then I got to here and I found there was one there. So I just popped one there and two in the corner instead. So it is actually a forgiving pattern. And when you are stitching this thread in, stitch it downwards. So it'll pull your piece down that way. Now that pretty much is all it is with the honey border. Now, if um, the honey cow border, sorry, if you wanted to add more, you could. You could add a row of single crochets and right on the very points there, you could do a little pico. Now, if you want, um, let me know and I will do a little pico border for you in the future. Um, but for now, this is the um, actual border I am going to put on for the honey cow. So, there is the honey cow border don't forget to weave in your ends and guess what guys next week we are starting the honey cow yay <laughs> very very exciting oh, i'm starting to shake <laughs> all right guys thank you so much for watching and um, um don't forget to subscribe like share all that jazz and guys remember 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 that most of my patterns are forgiving patterns. So if you make an er uh, somewhere along the way, it will not be that noticeable. As you can see with this one here, you can't even tell there was a mistake. So continue to uh, subscribe to the channel. And all I want to say right now, guys, is guess what? <laughs> As I always say at the end of all my tutorials, ciao for now.